Hi, welcome back to Drive North. Today we're up at Gander Outdoors in Forest Lake, Minnesota, and we are checking out the Mallard M27. I'm a big fan of these Mallards made by Heartland. We actually own a Heartland Mallard M185, and I just think they're really well-built campers. And this is a really good looking camper. I love this uh, front cap here. It's got four LED light strips in it. It's a good looking unit. This is obviously aluminum framed with fiberglass exterior. It's a uh, front bedroom. You'd kind of call this a couple's camper, I guess, and I'll show you why when we get inside. Let's start up front with the pass-through storage. For a unit that is not drop frame, this is a really good amount of storage up front. You got LED lighting on both sides. And this has power stabilizer jacks. A nice upgrade. This would be the entryway into the bedroom. You got your standard steps. It would have been nice if they had a solid step system like the main entryway, but it is what it is. Good size awning with your outdoor speakers, LED light strip. This unit has 15 inch aluminum rims. And it rides on Ridgeway tires. It has a wide track suspension. I'm actually surprised it didn't go with a 15 inch rim on this unit for its size. But otherwise, going around to the back here, this is where your main entry is. And it has the step above solid step system. Let's check out the numbers here. So retail is 35 grand. They have it on sale for 31,995. This is constructed with Asdel. That's uh, kind of a new way they're doing these. Kind of a nice, nice addition there. Around back, you got the full size spare. Huge window, and it is pre wired for a Furion backup camera. All right, going around to the driver's side. This has a good size slide out, and it looks like they use a cable driven system. Kind of surprised they don't use a rack and pinion on this, but. It is what it is. All right, squeeze through here. Here's where we have the power connection and your city water connection, black tank flush, and cable satellite TV hookup, and an outdoor shower. Show you that pass through storage from the other side. Now, this opening isn't quite as large because you do have the water heater right next to it, but having access on both sides is always nice. All right, moving inside. Now this layout is nothing new. This layout has actually been around for quite some time in both travel trailers and fifth wheels too. It's a floor plan that works. Um, some things I like about it, some things that I don't. Um, starting our own back here, you got your two recliners. Love seat that folds out into a bed. And your standard four person dinette that also folds down into a bed. Flip up table there, and you do have access to the storage from the side. The TV goes back against this wall, and I guess that's kind of the thing that I don't like about this floor plan is the TV is just kind of seems like an afterthought. It's a long ways away from your recliners. You know, I don't have a good angle from your sofa. Um, it works, but they have more modern floor plans that integrate TVs a lot better, I think, nowadays. All right, moving into the kitchen here. I think these floor plans work because it's a good spot for the kitchen. A lot of counter space, um, good storage with cabinets and drawers. Take a peek here. Have room enough for a garbage can, which is always good. This has a dual basin sink, kind of with your standard cutting boards on top. A residential style faucet with a pull down sprayer. Show you what that cabinet looks like up top. Good size. Have a graystone microwave. And a three burner stove top with a glass flip up lid. And an oven that's kind of on the smaller side, also made by Greystone. Dometic fridge, freezer, which is gas electric. And this is kind of unique. I, I guess I haven't seen this before, but this is a doodle station. It's got chalkboard 
on front of the fridge there. It's kind of neat. Here's where you have your digital thermostat and controls for your water pump, water heater, and where you can check your tank levels as well. Otherwise, the interior, the the core that they use is pretty modern. Everything is going towards that lighter tone, grayish brown tone. Looks nice. Here's where you have a little more storage, not much underneath the TV, a little bit on top. All right, going into the bathroom here. One thing I would have liked to have seen is a fully framed in bathroom door. It does not have that. It has a plastic foot flush toilet and a uh, sink with good size countertop around it. A little bit of storage underneath, kind of a standard medicine cabinet. And an okay size shower as well. All right, let's check out the bedroom. This to me is looking like a king size bed. I like this feature here. It has a little cubby that looks like that would be for shoes. On each side of the bed, you have room for hanging clothes and cabinets on top. Little plug in, maybe a good spot for your phones. I do notice that this is actually a pretty, I'll show you again, pretty tall storage area. I kind of wonder if that'd be a problem that maybe that's hanging down just a little too low. Off towards the back here, another, well, here's where you put your TV. This was kind of nice, an extra area for clothes. And this is actually a pretty good size wardrobe right here. I like this. And another drawer. Looks like that's where your breakers and fuses are. And there's that bedroom door. And the interior door is one of those sliders. All right, that is the Heartland Mallard M27. Once again, thanks for watching and we will see you next time.